so guys we will discuss about active directory rows okay in this active directory rows we will see what is this global catalog we have already discussed about this rows like naming master schema master rid master pdc emulator infrastructure master it is having one more role which is called as global catalog this five rows they are called as fismo rows okay and uh, Fismo stands for flexible single master operation role. So single master means these rows will be installed only on the master server. These rows will be installed only on the domain controller. Flexible means we can transfer these rows. So we have seen we have transferred the rows, these Fismo rows, from the domain controller to additional domain controller, and we made this additional domain controller domain control. Okay, and we didn't discuss about this sixth role. which is global catalog let us see what is this global catalog so it is a multi master operation role multi master operation role can be installed on multiple domains so guys this role this global catalog it can be installed on any domain by default it will be installed on domain controller but it can be installed on adc it can be installed on any sub domain as well but what is the use what is the purpose of this global catalog let us try to understand this global catalog contains the complete information of host domain we will try to understand what is the meaning of this host domain and it contains the partial information of other domains in the forest okay so this let us say we have installed the global cat this global catalog is installed on domain controller by default so this global catalog will have the information of this domain controller okay what is this host domain the server which runs the global catalog services is called as host domain so it will have the information of this domain controller and it will have the partial information it will have some information of other domains like mcsc.ms.com mysql.com it has it is having the information but it will not have the complete information it will have the partial information of other domain so when we install the domain controller when we install this root server this option global catalog it will be checked automatically we can't uncheck it because it is a mandatory service so guys this global catalog it is a mandatory service and let us say you have five domains in your network five domains the parent domain or forest domain must have this global catalog at least one global catalog should be installed in the forest okay it is a mandatory service that is why we can't uncheck it on the domain controller it is also called as forest root domain controller so it is also called as forest root domain controller now dc will have the complete information of its own domain how many clients are there how many member servers are there backup servers are there in this global catalog this global catalog will have the information about this current server and it will have the partial information of other domains so guys as we have discussed this global catalog is installed on the parent domain so let us say global catalog is installed here and it will have the information of all the users groups and ous of this current server and it will have the partial information of mysql.com sales.mysql.com mcsc.ms.com azure.mcsc.ms.com it is having the partial information so sub domains don't have the information about the other domains they will send the request to global catalog let us say this azure user let us say a1 wants to log on to any pc in sales domain so what it will do it will go to sales domain and it will type a1 
एट द रेट एस यू डॉट एम सी एस सी डॉट एम एस डॉट कॉम सो दिस सेल्स डोमेन डजेंट हैव एनी इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस ए वन यूजर ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन आर अवेलेबल इन द ग्लोबल कैटेलॉग ऑफ एम एस डॉट कॉम सो इट विल फॉरवर्ड द रिक्वेस्ट टू माई एस क्यूल डॉट कॉम माई एस क्यूल डॉट कॉम विल फॉरवर्ड द रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस ग्लोबल कैटेलॉग इट विल फॉरवर्ड द रिक्वेस्ट टू एम एस डॉट कॉम एम एस डॉट कॉम विल चेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन ग्लोबल कैटेलॉग सो इट विल सी दैट एस यू डॉट एम सी एस सी डॉट कॉम डोमेन इज अवेलेबल सो इट विल रीडायरेक्ट द रिक्वेस्ट टू एम सी एस सी डॉट एम एस डॉट कॉम एम सी एस सी डॉट एम एस डॉट कॉम विल फॉरवर्ड द रिक्वेस्ट टू एस यू डॉट एम सी एस सी डॉट एम एस डॉट कॉम सो गाइज दिस ग्लोबल कैटेलॉग इज लाइक द इंडेक्स ऑफ ए बुक so you will see the topic and you will see the page number then you will go to the page number so the same way this global catalog will see that azure.com is available and it is available here so it will forward the request so you can see it is taking a lot of time to verify the things so sub domains don't have the information about the other domain they will send the request to global catalog so we can create the global catalog on child domain to make the process fast so by default the global catalog is created on ms.com but we can create the global catalog on the sub domains as well to make the process fast if you create the global catalog here and as your user a1 wants to log on to this sales pc so it will not verify the things with ms.com it is having the complete information and it will directly contact the as your server okay so when we enable the global catalog in child domain when we enable the global catalog here in child domain it will have the information about the other domains which will make the log on faster so we can guys we can configure adc without a global catalog we can uncheck it for the child domain also we don't need the global catalog so at least we should have one global catalog it is not mandatory that all the domains should have the global catalog okay it you should have at least one global catalog so we can uncheck the global catalog option in adc we can uncheck the global catalog in azure in sales as well okay global catalog is available on ms.com only by default what is the meaning of partial information partial information means ms.com will have the other domain information but it doesn't have the information of clients it will have the information like this domain is available here it doesn't have the information about clients how many clients are there what is the client name okay how many groups are there what is the group name it doesn't have the information it will just forward the request to the it will see the catalog it will see the what is the index and it will based on that index it will forward the request to the domain so guys how to enable the global catalog on child domain by default it is enabled on the do, uh, domain controller but we want to enable this global catalog option on child domain as well how will you enable it so you will go to server manager then you will go to tools under the tools you will have active directory sites and services then you will expand this sites option you will expand this default first site name option then you will expand server option you will get the different all the domains which you have created in your forest here child domain okay these are the names okay ndf mysql server 1 server 2 these are the domains and let us say we want to enable this global catalog on child domain or we want to enable this global catalog on server 2 you will select you will expand that server and you will select this option ntds settings then right click properties then 
you will select this general option and you will enable the global catalog option here then you will click ok it is enabled okay so let us enable the global catalog on any child domain We will go to server manager, then we will go to tools, then active directory sites and services. Under this active directory sites and services, we will expand sites. Okay, then we will go to default first site name, then we will expand servers and you will see all the subdomains available here server 1 server 2 server 3 server 4 server 1 is our ms.com domain dc server 2 is our adc server 3 we have created mysql server 4 i think we have created any anyway, we have created it is sales i think and it is the anyhow you will get all the domain controllers here in the server option let us say we want to enable this global catalog on server 3 so you will expand it right click properties and it is by default enabled okay you can check and uncheck here if it is unchecked you will check it and you will apply it so this is how you will enable the global catalog on any server Already, is, is it clear or any doubt? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay, so what is the use of this global catalog? Saves logon time. Saves logon time. So, what information it is having? data of uh, yeah and uh, can we have a forest without global catalog it's one global catalog is required at least one global catalog and where it is installed by default domain controller on the domain controller we can't uncheck that option okay so let us move forward.